What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the first event for Halo Infinite. Now, this is going to be the Fracture event. This is going to be something separate from the Season 1 stuff that's going on within the Battle Pass right now. This is going to be its own thing. This is going to be a limited time uh, event which has some different armor designs which look kind of like that Samurai armor. You'll even have the option if you unlock it all to have a short Samurai sword on your character when you run around in game which looks very cool. I know a lot of people are looking for that. But of course, the Fracture event begins today, November the 23rd, at 10 a.m. Pacific Time, 1 p.m. Eastern, and 6 p.m. GMT. Now, last week when they first talked about this, they had the end date for November the 30th. On yesterday's trailer, the end date says May of 2022, which I know is not right. So just assume that this is probably going to end within the next week or two. I'm sure it's going to be a short event. 343 did say they're planning on bringing back some items and you know future events. So if you don't get everything, hopefully we'll be able to get some stuff in the future. Also, they said they will have items in the store. I'm sure it's going to be kind of like if we look at you know some other games like Call of Duty or uh, even things like Fortnite. You know when they have their battle pass, then they have events within their battle pass uh, time. You know when that you know when the battle pass is going on or a season's going on, they have events going on as well. They'll have some items in the store that you can buy. But the good thing about this event is there's going to be 30 items within this battle pass, which is going to be a completely separate pass from the season one pass. And this event battle pass is free to everyone. So everyone will have the ability to be able to get these items without having to worry about buying a separate pass just for this particular event. So there will be 30 items, including those samurai armor pieces, some different emblems, uh, some different colorways for your weapons, uh, so of course, some different visors for your helmets. This is a really cool event. Uh, like I said, with 30 tiers of cosmetic rewards. And I know a lot of people out there are looking forward to that samurai uh, kind of armor. Uh, the the trailer yesterday is really epic. If you did not see it, I'll have that linked down in the description below with all this information. It is a very cool looking uh, thing. But how you level up all this stuff, of course, is going to be through challenges. So there's going to be separate challenges just for this event in our challenge section. And one of the marketing or the head marketing lead at 343 did clarify these will be colored differently in the menu for easy reading. And he also stated if you're doing these event challenges, they will make progress on both your event pass and your season one battle pass. But he said that's not true in the other direction, however. Completing general season one challenges will only add XP to your battle pass and not the event pass. So if you're doing event challenges, you will get XP for your event pass and for the season one pass. If you're doing season one challenges, you're going to get XP for the season one pass only. But this is going to be a pretty neat thing, of course. I know a lot of people are looking forward to the first event within Halo Infinite. I know everyone's really excited, been hopping on the game. Of course, I've been hopped on my Xbox One here, been playing on it. Like I said, I made that video yesterday talking about how I really enjoyed it on Xbox One. Luckily, last night, I actually got a early Christmas present that is being sent to the house of an Xbox Series S. So I'm actually going to have a newer gen console to play this on. So I'm looking forward to that. But leave me a comment, guys. Let me know if you're looking forward to this event today. Like I said, it does start at 10 uh, Pacific time, which is 1 Eastern and 6 p.m. GMT. Let me know if you want to hop in and try to unlock everything we can or everything you can, you know, within the event itself. Hopefully, it's not going to take too long to unlock some of this stuff. I know some people have been worried about the how long it takes to unlock, you know, items within the Season 1 pass. That XP is kind of a slow grind. So hopefully this will be a little bit quicker if this event's only going to uh, last for a week or two. But anyway, like I said, if you want to read over any of this info for yourself, I'll have everything linked down in the description. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course, the affiliates here on the channel, Empire Jerky and Amazon Associates. Also check out the merch store that is linked in the description as well. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.